perplexity.ai account to the pro plan for free for 12 months. Let me show you how. So at the moment, it looks like there's a special and you all you need to do is connect your free account and upgrade it to the pro account and link your PayPal account. So let me show you the URL you need to go to. So this is the URL you've got to go to. You've got to go to perplexity.ai join dash p paypal dash subscription. I'll put a link in the description. So when you go to that, just claim the 12 months of Perplexity Pro. I've already subscribed and it's working fine. So you can see that I'm on the Pro account at the moment. You will see the pro here at the bottom. And then if you go to your account, then if you go to the account, you see that it's on Perplexity Pro. So all you need to do is just click on this claim button and then link your PayPal account and then you have it for 12 months. The other thing to check is if you want to cancel the PayPal connection or the PayPal auto renew, then you got to go to this URL here, paypal.com slash my account slash auto pay. Then you see it on the list on the automatic payments, click on perplexity AI and just hit the cancel. And you, once you hit the cancel, you will not be charged again the next following year so you should still be able to use perplexity so let me show you so you the account if I refresh this it's still on the pro so it's for a year and then some of the features that you can use on the pro let's go through that okay so if you go back to the main page let me put a new tab here Okay, so if you do a search, you can search for, let's see. Okay, so let's paste this in. So I'm going to try to get, give me a detailed list of features to try in the perplexity.ai pro plan and what the benefits are. So I'm using here the search mode. It's pro enabled, so it gives three more sources with powerful models and increased limits. So with the pro version, you get unlimited access for subscribers. Let's see what happens here. So go through this, the steps that you can follow as well. It cites the sources that is used to gather all this research information. And it has the links to the websites and the citations. Gives a bit of a summary here, comparing the pro plan and the free plan and then it gives a summary here as well so let me try the research mode okay maybe I'll create a new tab for this just to make sure so research mode same prompt and let's go As you can see at the top, this one will take longer. It'll take about three minutes to gather all the sources and create the report. Okay, so here we go. It's got a bit more details. Didn't provide you with a summary table, so 
the standard search which provided a summary comparison table the research one did not provide that I guess it was it's a bit easy to follow I guess using the search this one here obviously contained more sources so you can see that there's 33 sources whereas the search only had 11 so I guess that's the biggest difference it uses more sources for the research option now let's go have a look at the I guess, premium model so you should be able to switch to the premium models okay so you should be able to search to the premium model so if you go to search here and then you click this button here choose a model at the moment it selects the best model based on the query that you entered you can deselect that and now select select one of the options here the model let me try the GTP 5 we'll follow that up with provide me with more detailed information let's see what happens so now it's using the GPT-5 model so now it's scanning it's going through the different sources we notice here that compared to the previous search it doesn't cite any sources I guess that's why perplexity is used for research for I guess you know doing research on papers okay it does provide a little bit of a summary table which is good to have and then if you want to choose a different model you can just choose there you can always stick to the best and let perplexity decide you'll also notice now that you have the option to attach files so you can actually select files and documents from Google Drive, Dropbox or even local files so you can upload like a, a PDF or an image and ask for a summary or an analysis you can also even try uploading a CSV and ask for some trends and graphs so that's pretty handy to have now with image generation let's give it a try create an image infographics image for this summary let's see what happens here okay so now it's going to try to generate an image okay so here's the image that it generated I guess obviously there's a lot of spelling mistakes so couldn't even spell perplexity it's going through yep perplexity is spelled wrong I mean the graphic looks pretty nice but the perplexity is spelled wrong let's try to prompt it to tell it to fix it up 
please fix the spelling of perplexity to perplexity. Let's see what happens now. Okay, so here's the generated image. As you can see, there's still a typo here. So I did ask it to change it to the correct spelling. And it looks like it just recreated the image without fixing the spelling. So it re recreated to a completely new image. I guess not very helpful there. Okay, so the other feature when using the pro version is that you are able to get $5 worth of API credits. You need to create an, a group here and put in your details and you get $5 worth of credits so you can use within your own app if you wanted to. Okay, so hopefully this helped you guys. So make sure you go link your PayPal account to get 12 months free of Perplexity Pro. Hope this video helped. If you did, please give a like and subscribe to the channel.